Okay. No. Hello everyone, this is Quoth. Today I'm presenting you 250 runs of the City of the Damned, probably one of the most underrated areas to farm. I did these runs on a single player, players 1 with 438 MF with my Summon Necromancer that is nowadays mostly amplifying corpse explosion, kind of. And the first drop was already on the run 26, it was the shark skin boots, ethereal, but these are the wrong boots, these are the water walks. The next two finds are the usual suspects in my MF videos. First of all, it's a sad bramble meets. That is laying of hands. And on a run 39, I get sad battle boots. These are a pair of Aldor's Advance with 40% fire res. The next situation will become a pattern throughout this video. I will pick up something to identify, this will be the small charm, and then I will notice this amazing drop. Sad Corona. It's Griswold Corona and I hate it so much, I want to see it unique. And later on at the same run I find these Bartooks. Bartooks Cutthroat. A little bit later on around 64, a light Balric Blade. Sadly, it's not such a useful item at all. 100 runs in and I find good small charm. I'm almost full with those already. 7ms small charm. Something funny will happen on run 111. First of all, it's a Blackhorn's face, a light death mask. Really interesting item with some useful stats but lacking skills or maybe two sockets to be used. I don't think anybody is actually using it much. Then on one of the next packs I find unique heavy belt. This is gold wrap with 63% gold find. And we are moving on to the next pack of dark familiar. And these ones drop a small charm. The Kraken Shell is not ethereal, but a small charm is 16 to life and 14 to mana, pretty good. Remember what I told you about the pattern throughout this video, I pick up an item and then meantime I drop unique Corona. This is crown of ages, but no, only one socket, how bad. The stats are really good, but one socket really breaks it. Find unique ring. This is carrion wind. Again, very interesting thematically, but not really useful. And then surprisingly, a casual mal rune of the champion pack. And later on, even more casual lamb rune. Another piece of unique jewelry comes on around 208, this time it is an amulet from around the monster, and this is Saracen's Chance with pretty bad roll. All the same champions pack that was actually spawning every time and seems to be a consistent spawning point, drop me Natalia's soul, boots with good resistances. And talking of boots, couple of runs later I find these rare chain boots. They are not godly level, but they still have three good stats. Faster run walk, poison res, and MF. And again, the third time this pattern worked. Picked up this death beat, the jewel, and I just noticed the Myrmidon Greaves. Wow, 30C87 in this run. These are Shadow Dancers. Amazing. All the only one to Shadow Disciplines. And continuing on with the unique boots, these are again water walks, with pretty low life roll. Decently rare item, this blood spirit is a unique druid belt. This one is Cerebus Bite with plus 4 to shape shifting skills. 
Run 233. I drop finally this item that I haven't found yet, the Balrog Spear. This is Demon's Art. Alright guys, I'm quite amazed with the results from City of the Damned. This is really good area to farm, especially on Battle.net. And if you want to learn more about it and what budget builds can do it, definitely check out my video on the Act for Farming. Thank you so much, see you next time.